In this video, I'm going to be testing out this Ego battery powered leaf blower. We're full swing into the fall season and the leaves are piling up outside. For many years, I've used my trustworthy steel combi system leaf blower, which does a great job. However, the major disadvantage of the steel leaf blower is that the gas engine can definitely output some nasty emissions. In fact, some studies have shown that running a small two-stroke engine for an hour can output more emissions than a car that travels over a thousand miles. It's because of the way these two-stroke engines are designed as they burn oil and gas at the same time. It's not only harmful for the environment, but also for the person using it. Breathing in the emissions can cause damage to your lungs and internal organs. It's not a coincidence that you feel high as a kite after using these things. Also, the smell of the exhaust can linger on your clothes and skin and hair for hours. Luckily, the outdoor equipment market has been booming with some great products. Ego has been one of those companies to lead with some great battery-powered tools to make the job easier and safer for you and the environment. This specific Ego leaf blower is the Ego Power Plus LB7654 model, and it is advertised as the most powerful electric leaf blower in the market. Let's unbox this thing and see what we get. So first up is the tapered nozzle. This attaches to the leaf blower tube, and it basically acts as a way to concentrate the airflow and increase the air speed. Next we have the blower tube, and this is where the airflow will be coming out of when using the leaf blower. It's made of a plastic material and has the Ego logo as well as the 765 CFM, which basically stands for 765 cubic feet per minute. The higher the CFM generally means a more powerful leaf blower. And Ego definitely lets you know that this is apparently the industry's most powerful handheld blower according to this big ol' sticker. This next piece is a spread nozzle which attaches to the end of the main blower tube and gives you a wider range of airflow. Here's how the nozzle is attached to the blower tube. This little release button allows for easy detachment. I'll be honest, I barely use these nozzles with this leaf blower. Now we have the main unit of the blower. My initial impressions is that this thing looks like a Nerf gun. Everything about the design from the Ego logo to the green accents on the base to the honeycomb style air intake screams Nerf gun. I definitely like the design, it makes this thing look very unique. This dial up here is the speed lock. It's almost like a cruise control for the leaf blower as it allows you to set a constant speed without having to hold the trigger down. On the top of the handle, there's a turbo button, which gives you an extra boost of air up to 200 miles per hour. Below the handle area is where the battery will mount. I'll show you that in a second. Now we have the battery that comes with this leaf blower. It's the Ego Power Plus 56 volt battery that is 5 amp hours. This can actually power a multitude of Ego products, which is great. The battery weighs quite a bit. In fact, I think most of the weight of the blower will be this battery. It uses the same color sequencing as the rest of the leaf blower. It has an indicator button on the back of it that shows how much power is left in the battery. It has some ventilation along the top, which is good in case the batteries heat up inside. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with an 18 volt 4 amp hour battery for my Ryobi tools. You can see how much bigger the Ego battery is. Next we have the Ego battery charger, which is also fairly large to accommodate the 56 volt battery. It has indicator lights on it to show the status of the charging. It does have mounting holes on the back if you want to mount this thing on the wall, and it's nice they include a reference of the distance between the mounting holes. Here's a comparison with an 18 volt charger to show you how much bigger the charger is. Here we have the shoulder strap if you want to use it with the leaf blower. It has a nice Ego logo on the padded area of the strap. Finally, we have a packet of instructions and guidelines for this blower, battery, and charger. I'm just going to plug in the charger and set up the battery to charge. The battery slides onto the charger pretty easily. I was surprised at the sound this charger makes. It's definitely louder than any of the other battery chargers I have. Now let's put this blower together and see how it works. The battery slides onto the main blower section using these rails. Next, the blower tube will slide on this way with the green release tab lining up with the notch on the side near the Ego logo. Now that we have the blower put together, let's do some size comparisons between the Ego leaf blower and the steel combi system leaf blower. You can see the Ego is significantly shorter and slimmer than the steel, and that's because it's a different setup. Steel uses a single gas engine where multiple attachments can be added. This results in a shaft that is longer than a traditional leaf blower. Let's check out the weight of these two. The steel gas power blower with 3 quarters tank full of gas weighs about 15.2 pounds. The Ego with the battery installed weighs about 9.8 pounds. Now I'm going to put these two to the test. I'll use this section of my backyard for this test. It's directly underneath a small oak tree and the leaves are evenly spread out in this area. I'll split up the area in half like it's seen here. First I'll clear this side using the steel gas powered blower.
Now let's clear this side with the ego blower. As you can see, the Ego Blower kept up with the steel and cleared the area just as good as the steel. I should note that the entire time I was using the Ego Blower, it was on full throttle using the Turbo Mode. Here's an example of how Turbo Mode gives you a boost of air. I'm pushing a pile of wet leaves into the woods that border my property. I'll use the Turbo Mode to push the leaves further into the woods. You can hear there is a decent power bump to increase the airflow when going into Turbo Mode. So coming to the question on whether this Ego leaf blower is better than a gas-powered steel leaf blower, I would say it's not necessarily better than the gas-powered steel, but it clearly has its advantages and disadvantages. The fact that this blower is electric is nice because you can just pop on the battery and get going. There is no fuel or oil to mix, no priming of the engine, and certainly no line to pull to start the motor. However, the downside is that eventually the battery will run out of charge. Ego advertises that this blower can run for 90 minutes on a single charge using a 5 amp hour battery. I'd say that's a stretch and the actual runtime is more like 70 minutes. If you use the turbo button, it will be drastically less than that. I've also noticed that when the battery reaches about 2 bars on the indicator, which I'm guessing is around 25% charge left, the blower begins to slow down in the amount of air it's moving. Even with turbo mode, I've noticed a pretty decent drop in airflow once the battery gets to 2 bars left. So if you have a large property with lots of leaves falling, you will most likely need two batteries where one battery is charging while you're using the other. You could also opt to get a larger battery, but keep in mind these batteries are pretty expensive. A 5 amp hour battery costs almost $200 and a 7.5 amp hour battery can run you more than $300. That's a lot of money. The other disadvantage for me is that this Ego Leaf Blower has a strange weight balance to it. With the battery attached and running the blower at full throttle, it tends to push the front of the blower upward and it's more difficult to control. I find myself alternating between hands holding this thing. The shoulder strap may make it easier, but I think a better option would have been to distribute the weight more toward the center of the unit. I didn't have this problem with the steel since I'm holding it with two hands and everything is evenly balanced. Overall, I think this Ego Leaf Blower is worth it if you are looking to step away from the gas-powered blowers. It's a good choice for those who prioritize ease of use, quiet operation, and minimal impact to the environment. 
Let me know your thoughts on this topic and if you have any specific questions about this leaf blower. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.